Ah, the city of Roundabout. The big twist. The city that always spins. If you can drive through here, you can drive through anywhere. Now, you might notice that things are a little peculiar around here. Well, that's because this is Roundabout. Everyone does things different around here. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi there, uh, Geo Regio Manus? Meet Giorgio Manus, the world's first revolving limousine driver. Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine operator's test, so just keep things straight and quick, and this will be over ASAP. Hmm. If only our pal here could see inside Giorgio's head. See, there's only one way this chauffeur drives. And it's with a twist. Giorgio never stopped revolving. As a kid, Giorgio learned to move with the spin, instead of fighting. People, small obstacles, nothing could stop Giorgio from twisting and turning. Well, except for buildings, lampposts. You know, things taller than a limousine. B but against everything else, unstoppable. Drive to the target and spin. Stop here at the DMV gate. Well, I guess you passed, barely. Here's your driving report. You'll get one of these after every ride. Enjoy the thrilling world that is the luxury transportation industry, I guess. With a limo license, the world was Giorgio's oyster. Passengers everywhere would experience a true revolution in transportation. Hey kid, the name's Mickey. Mickey the mechanic. I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the block. spinning thing is even better from the inside. I see. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I'm trying to get all these damn coins. Fuck. This, this is the future of transportation. Wow, kid. 
Have you ever thought of going pro? Look, if you ever want to take on the city, just come back to me. Hell, I'll even help you out with parts. You and me, kid, we could go all the way. Okay, okay, you just met me, it's a little weird. But kid, seriously, think about it. I'll be right here at the garage. Driver? I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanics and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. Communicating silently was Giorgio's bread and butter. With just a quick look at the stare on that adorable munchkin, Giorgio knew they needed to make a detour. He's in his there, let's go pick him up. Things must come to an end. Giorgio needed to get these pint sized pals to school.
heading to the school's baseball field. Oh, it's you. Yeah, so I teach both driving and baseball. You want to make a big deal about it? Those kids aren't going to base those balls themselves. Let's go, Giorgio. Get out of the way! Yeah, I know. The school spends all this money on learning and buildings, but they can't even put a baseball stadium on campus. Priorities, am I right? than I thought. I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. Okay, kids, listen up. Hey, listen up. I don't know what you're doing here, but in this town, we play baseball. See the chauffeur here? Even Giorgio can play better baseball than you. Show him. Giorgio had never used a limousine as a baseball bat before, but there's a first time for everything. First base! Second! Bring it home! Home run! Alright kids, see? That's how you do it. Now get out there and give me ten laps. Come on, move, move, move! Giorgio, the school's demanding that I teach soccer now. Apparently this isn't America anymore. You seem like someone who knows what soccer is. Can you show these kids how to bounce a soccer ball or whatever it is that you do in your sport? 